Good Wednesday morning. Happy hump day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chris with West Virginia Nana to the Three. I went to Kidron, Ohio yesterday along with Berlin, Ohio. And I went to Layman's. I went to Walnut Creek Cheese. I went to Troyer's Market. I went to East Union Bulk Foods, and I went to Ashery Bulk Foods. I'm going to take you down, and I'm going to show you everything that I got at each one. However, the main reason why I went was for a high wheel cultivator. I did get it. I'll insert a picture into the video um, when I do layman's because it is in our garage waiting to be put together. So, let me take you down and show you what I got. Okay, the first place that I went was the, um, was Layman's, of course, but then I went to the East Union Bulk Foods. Here's an overview of what I got there. Okay, I got some 50-count uh, um, package of bread bags. They were $3.60. I picked up some almost two pound of fruit pectin for eight seventy seven. I picked up a little over two pound of the clear gel for five dollars and eighty three cents. I picked up some toffee peanuts. It's one pound for three eighty seven. I got a jar of rosemary, and I want to say it was right around three dollars. I got a, almost a pound of half piece walnuts um, for $2.91. I picked up some vanilla powder. This is only a tenth of a pound for $3.18. I got ketchup seasoning blend for $1.82. Some celery salt for $2.59 some fine black pepper for $1.49, bacon flavored seasoning for $2.25, not sure what I'll use that for, but it looked interesting, some smoked paprika for some recipes for $2.49, cream of tartar for $2.99. These looked good. I meant to try them on my way home, but didn't. Um, it's a half, little over a half a pound of caramel puffs for $3.02. I picked up some cheese curls for $2.24, and this is 11 ounces. I got 10.10 pound of quick oats for $10.10. They were a dollar a pound. I picked up a quart of blackstrap molasses for $5.19. cent. I got some black seedless jam. It was marked down to $5.89. Not a whole lot of a savings, but every little bit helps. I got some fresh made creamy peanut butter. It's a little over a pound for $3.02. And I picked up a 32 ounces of pure maple syrup for $15.99. I spent a little over $98. It was $98 and some change at um, Bulk Union. Now to Ashery. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but Ashery, um, I got eight pound of cornmeal. It was 55 cents a pound for $4.85. I picked up some peanut squares. It's almost a pound for $3.91. I picked up 3.59 pound of soft red wheat. Kernels for $4.27. It's $1.19 a pound. I also picked up um, almost five pounds of the hard red winter wheat. It was $0.99 cents a pound for $4.63. Some plain breadcrumbs, almost a pound for $1.02. It's $1.09 a pound. I picked up some Ohio hand bottled in Ohio Amish country. I got a pa two pound of it. And I wanna say it was, let me get my receipt. 
Okay, I've got my receipt, so now we can see how much that honey was. It was thirteen fifty nine for two pound of honey. Okay, I picked up some. I think I got this at Ashery. Let me see. I actually might have got that at Walnut Creek. No. I got this at the Ashery also, it was $3.99. It is Berry Patch Sweetheart Jam. I picked up some dry malt for $3.35 for .84 of a pound. It's $3.99 a pound. I picked up some Panko breadcrumbs. It's a pound, 1.2 pound for $2.85. I got some cocoa powder because I was getting low. It's one pound and 11 ounces for $4.98. <coughs> Sorry, I have allergies going on. I also picked up some of these gourmet corn chips. They were, let me see, $2.89, and that is a 16 ounce. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I went a little nuts on the spices. I got some granulated garlic. This is point thirty. well, it's 33 ounces for 333, it's 10.99 a pound. Herbs de Provence for 275. More granulated garlic for 363. We use a lot of granulated garlic. I got two of the sage sausage seasoning for to make breakfast sausage i picked up a hot italian sausage seasoning whole nutmeg for 307 <coughs> excuse me um some fajita seasoning for 240 applewood smoked salt for 322 some ground cinnamon for $3.51, some Ceylon cinnamon for $4.89, some anise stars for tea making for $4.15, and that is 10 ounces. Ashery's own steak seasoning for $3.78. And I got two different things of turmeric. I use turmeric in um, my breakfast drinks and cooking. So for 30 ounces, I got paid $1.98. For 28 ounces, I paid $1.85. Then I got some fine ground pepper for $4.99 for 17 ounces. And then for $2.32, I got 14 ounces of the bay leaves. And that is a pretty big container. So that's everything I got at the Ashery. And there I spent $116.36, which I did not think was bad. Um, oh, I did get some hand pies. So let's see, over here are the hand pies I got. I got these at several different places. Um, but I did get several of the fry pies. Four of them. I got these four from Ashery and they were $2.75 a piece. My husband loves the fry pies. Okay, and then I showed you West Union at Troyer's Market. I didn't spend a whole lot there, but I got a half a peck of Golden Delicious apples, and they were $6.99 for a half a peck. The half a peck of Honeycrisp were $13.99. I got some elbow spaghetti, some little mini ones I thought would be cute to make mac and cheese for the kids. One pound, 1.86 pound for 4.63, 2.49 a pound. Some wagon wheels there again, I thought this would be cute to fix for my grandkids. Almost a pound for 2.87. And that was, every, oh, and I got a Diet Dr. Pepper, but I drank it on the way home. I spent $36.42 there. Oh, I got a some white sharp cheddar. Let me grab my cheeses that I bought. 
Okay, and then I got the cheddar white sharp chunk for $5.28 for 0.755 pound, $6.99 a pound. That's what I got there. So I spent $36.42. Now on to what I got at Walnut Creek. I picked up some Colby cheese. This one was $3.59 and it's 0.80 pound. This one is 0.735 of a pound, so three quarters of a pound for 330. This one was a little over three quarters of a pound. I also got two of the marble cheese, which is the Colby Jack and Colby together. This one is a little over a half a pound for $3 and a penny. This one is a little over a half a pound for $2.90. I picked up this maple onion bacon jam. I guess I'll give that to my daughter because it has onion in it. Um, but that's all right, no big deal. My husband and I can't eat onion. And that was, where is it? I saw it a minute ago on here. I wanna say $3.99. Yes, $3.99 for nine ounces. I also picked up some Baby Swiss, a little over a half a pound for $3.17. Then I got this big block of mozzarella. And this is actually right at three pound for $13.63. I wanna say this average is out to be cheaper than what I get a mozzarella for from Azure, but that's okay. If I go back, I'll get more. If not, I'll just continue to get it from Azure. All right, I got some big elbow macaroni. A little under three pound for five sixty two. Some mini lasagna noodles, about a pound and a half for three thirty eight. Some small shells for pasta salads or mac and cheese, a little under a pound and a half for three sixty nine. I got some cream of wheat cereal for three twenty six for uh, two and a half pound. I found some granulated nuts for ice cream toppings, $1.35 for a little over a half a pound. Pretzel salt, um, 1.34 of a pound for $2.26. I found some really fine baby flake oats for my nine month old granddaughter. This is 2.62 pound for $2.59. They were 99 cents a pound. And this one is 2.61 pound for 2.58. So one for my daughters and one for here. Um, some papaya chunks, one pound for 3.41. Some pineapple chunks, three quarters of a pound for 3.98. I got two bags of the apple rings. This one is a little, well, they're both under a half a pound. 2.70 and 2.83. Some more. Freshly made peanut butter, um, $2.99 a pound. This is one and three quarter pound for $5.50. I got some cheddar cheese powder. This is a little over a quarter of a pound for $2.34. Some natural garlic and herb seasoning to make butter, um, $3.74 for a little over a quarter of a pound. Some aluminum free baking powder, almost a pound for $3.44. And then I got these Prairie Gold Wheat Berries. This is hard white wheat. And they were, I wish I'd have gotten two, but I didn't. They were $22.27 for 25 pounds. I should have got two. These are good through, well, the best buy date is 12 5 of 23, but I'm going to put them in Mylar bags and put them in five gallon buckets with gamma lids and they'll last longer. All right, now to um, layman's. I picked up, let me grab that receipt because some of these don't have the prices on them. Oh, Walnut Creek cheese, I ended up spending 
<clears throat> excuse me, $114.04. Okay, now, I got, this is my overhaul of layman's. I did get a hat and a t-shirt. I'll go get those and show them to you shortly. All right, I got a microwave popcorn popper, and it was $24.99. I got a gnocchi board. I want to try to make my own gnocchi. It was... $13.99, so that looks interesting. And then I got this colander truck for the garden. It was $15.99. I picked up two of the cotton yarn for the garden. It's um, 200 foot. I've got two of those and they were $14.99. each. I picked up some celery seeds from of seed Seed Savers Exchange. I got a St. John's, a Milk Maiden Nesturm, and a Utah Celery. And these were each $3.79 a packet. I got some more plant labels. There's 56 inch ones in here. And they were $4.99. I also picked up a spaghetti measure, so you know how much spaghetti to make for either one, two, three, or four. And that was I don't know. It wasn't that much, though. Oh, $2.99. I'm sorry. Couldn't find it for lucky. I picked up an Amish Family Favorites cookbook for $9.99. I picked up a medicinal, the guide, the Good Living Guide to Medicinal Teas. It was $14.99. I'm excited to go look through this and see what... I can find, but it's got recipes for all kinds of things. I also found a USA 9x13 rectangular pan. It was $20.99, cheaper than I can get it for off the USA site. I got a jelly roll pan, and it was $20.99 as well. Then I found this 20 by 16 cooling rack. And it was $17.99. And of course, I got the High Wheel Cultivator. I did pick up some other bottled sodas and brought back. I got an orange, a grape, and a root beer. They were $3 a piece. And let me show you the hat and the t-shirt. This is the hat I brought back to my husband. It was $22.99. And then the t-shirt that I bought for myself was this one and it was 20 24.99 but that was everything that i got it was my entire day um in amish country in the berlin area i spent over 400 dollars at layman's but the cultivator was 150 so that was the majority of it they actually charged me 175 but on the website it says it's 143 so i am fixing to call them and see about getting the difference put back on my credit card. That's it for today, guys. If you like videos like this, like, subscribe, and share. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're stocking. I hope you're getting what your family may need. And happy Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week, and I hope everyone had a happy Easter. Bye.